Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm dropping in to say hi. I always want to do this before a video, but I get so busy that I forget. And now Bolty's going to start meowing. I'm going to try to not cut my head off in the face cam and to look in the little dot over there so it looks like I'm looking right at you. So I wanted to say hello, and I wanted to show you, because I'm always encouraging you to wear clip-ons, that I'm wearing these abalone and sterling silver clip-ons today, and they've been so comfortable, and I love them. So this is my first day of wearing clip-ons, and it's been great. They're beautiful earrings. I'm really happy that I found them. And I'm wearing my very beloved coral necklace. It's super long, and you might remember it from one of my unboxings. It's super heavy. It's barrel beads. Oh, maybe I'll show that to you close up again, too, because it's been quite some time, and maybe some of you didn't see that. And then I'll be showing you this really old necklace. I think it's a very high silver content, and it has turquoise and I think pearls in it. It's a gorgeous necklace. And then we'll have some fun looking a little bit at this heart necklace as well, because I think that's a bit sterling. So here we go, trying not to cut my hair off again and saying hello. So I'm going to turn the camera around now and focus on the table so we can get into the 23 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. We should get done with it pretty soon. Then I have a good three other boxes and then I have a 45 pound box of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. So we have lots of fun things to look through together, lots of videos to make. And if you can put up with my shaky camera, I think we'll be fine. Oh, by the way, I would like for you to comment in the comment section if you think you would like to join a live auction. I do want to try to have some of those. I have lots of gorgeous pieces of jewelry that I think you will all enjoy. And so I'm going to work on that. So let me know if you would like to join a live auction. So I'll turn this around. We'll focus on the baubles and we'll see you there. Thanks so much. Okay, so here we are at the jewelry. And this is my beloved coral necklace. Gosh, I can't remember what box I unboxed this. Maybe the 38 pound, but it has the older hook clasp. It's not for sale, just sharing it with you. And this was when I was first learning what coral is. I was actually gonna sell this necklace to someone that was a subscriber. And I think I knew it was coral, but when I went to take pictures of it for her, close-up pictures, my heart just melted when I saw those beads up close and how beautiful they are. See if I can show you some that really show the little tubes of coral. I just, I couldn't sell it. I felt so bad. I th I'm sure she was a little upset, but I just couldn't let it go. So... Here it is. I enjoy it all the time. I love to wear it. It's so beautiful. How can you not love something like that? So that's what I was wearing. And this is the other necklace that I found in this box. And I noticed that the color of the chain was very light color. And then I noticed that the clasp is really old. So I gave it a test on, you know, on the testing stone and it came out really, really, really blue. So I'm sure it's really old. I've had to clean it up a little bit, but I didn't want to clean it too much. I have no idea about a price or anything yet. I think this might have been put on after. This is a beautiful pearl and turquoise cross. I don't think this is marked either, but it also came up a nice bright um, sterling. I'm sure this is probably 925, but it looks older to me. And the chain is so heavy, it's not the natural weight that you would feel on a sterling chain. It's heavier, so it must have more silver content. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I love to wear it sometimes. I'll have to figure out what something like this would be worth with that high of a silver content. And then the other necklace that I enjoy is this beautiful... I don't even know if you'd call that filigree. It's just so soft, romantic, and it's older, so it's been worn for a long time, and the silver is like butter. It's just a lovely necklace. I'm sorry if I'm 
showing you something that you might want, but I thought I would share what I was wearing in the video. It does have the older spring ring, and it's a lovely chain too. So I love to wear this with the coral and with my Roy Rogers necklace. So that's been really a lot of fun. Oh, I need to show you the clip-ons too. So let me get one of those. They are these abalone valley style, gorgeous clip-ons. There they are, and they're sterling silver. Mark 925, I think. And I thought I better take my own advice and try some clip-ons, so I did. They do have a special signature on them, but I can't make it out. It's really tiny. Maybe you'll know. I don't know. But I wore these all day, and they're so pretty. Really beautiful abalone. I'm going to put that earring right back on so I don't lose it. And this is the other one. Gorgeous color. So that was super fun. And I'll put that one right back on, too. I was very surprised at how comfortable they were all day. So let's get back into things. I certainly want to put my treasures away so I don't get them mixed in. So set those aside. And let's see what we've got left in this box. So the last time we did anything with this box, I was doing an untangling video. So now we're going to get to look in close at what is now untangled. I think we took a peek of this necklace during the untangling video. It's so beautiful. Look at that emerald green crystals everywhere. Stunning necklace. And it goes to a gold tone chain in the back. Other side has a lobster clasp. So it is so pretty. I'll have to get Buster over here and put it on Buster to show you it in full. But I wanted to show you, too, that in the un untangling, I found the matching bracelet. I can't remember if we saw this on the untangling video, but here it is. Matching bracelet. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's the back. It's gold tone, and there is some, some of the gold plating is worn off a little bit on the bracelet because someone loved it. But it's still lovely. So I have no idea if this is on sterling I would think not but so this chain mat sticks to the magnet this doesn't but I would think if all of this was sterling then the chain would be too so I'm gonna say it's not but it really is lovely let me grab Buster because he needs to do his job today The last video I made, I threatened Buster. I think it was my Saturday night fun jewelry bags night. And I put a tag on right there and it kept slipping. And I said, if you don't behave, I'm going to put the mustache back on you. So I had a good laugh about that after because when I'm making a video, I don't always know what I say until I watch the video. Anyway, this is our emerald green super rhinestone necklace so beautiful and the matching bracelet and i got the bracelet measurer too so we could see what this measures now it has this chain so you can link it anywhere along there and it goes all the way to eight and three quarters and again you can clip it anywhere along this chain and it can be as small as like a six and a half to a seven all the way down there. So that's really cool. I like how they did that bracelet. And the necklace measures. I have a tape measure on my table, so I'll bring it down here and measure it. And it is 18 inches. And then you've got another two or three inch extension. So, wow, this is very heavy. The glass is beautiful. Let me have a closer look at them. So the ones in the back are all prong set and the ones in the front are not. But there's not a one missing. 
It's a beautiful color for Christmas or for just about anything. So I'm going to price it up because it's so heavy and beautiful. Nice amount of, you know, choices on the bracelet. And I would say 48 on the set. So you tell me what you think about that. That's a lot of beautiful glass and stone. And I would say 48 for the set. And I wouldn't dare break it up because it's always good to keep jewelry together. So that's our first one. We still have an awful lot to go through. And by the way, if you see something you like, you can email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please include the episode number, or the video in the episode number, a brief description. Hey, I have the wrong sign. Sorry about that. That's for my Saturday night fun bags. Anyway, same thing, capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Please send me four things, the video name with the episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, brief description of those pieces, and the prices that I've given. So thank you for that. Thank you so much. Okay, well, let's get digging back into the bag. I'll remind you what's on the earring board. It felt Some of them fell off and then back on, but... We have a lot going on and a lot to settle on this. Some of them are sterling, some of them aren't. So we've got some fun to have with that. We also have this, this whole card full of earrings from Wild Fable. I still haven't even had a chance to look at who Wild Fable is. But I put them in the bag just so nothing would fall off. But we have these little light green, white, pink, that looks like um, a white and a little clear beaded. Then you've got some flowers, pink, rhinestone butterfly. These are little hearts. Ooh, those are green studs, but they're a little bit lighter than our necklace, so they wouldn't go with that. But it was a good try. These look like a faux opal, so do those. Purple roses, little bow ties, um, AB crystals. Those look like just little leaves, flowers, peachy color, pink, gold, blue, hearts, little squares. Not sure what these are. Then you've got teeny tiny little silver studs, purple, flowers, AB again on like a gold tone, and little tiny pearls. So a whole card full of brand new earrings from Wild Fable, and I would say... $10 on the card. I'll put it back in here so nothing's lost. That's that one. Next we have out of the bag this beautiful pendant, I would think. It's in great condition. Horse head, I guess with, I don't know, the chains would just hang down. It's really gorgeous. I suppose I could put it on a chain, but we would need a pretty heavy one. But let's just go with the pendant for now, and I would say $8 on this really beautiful, great shape horse pendant. Maybe you could even hang it on the wall or something. Maybe it's not a pendant. Let me know what you think. It is four inches long from here to here, and then the chain is makes it six inches long. So do you think that's a pendant? It's got a, a bail on it. That's the price for that one. Okay, next in the bag is this necklace. Not sure what that means. Maybe some of you do. It's silver tone, lobster clasp. It is 20 inches. And I will say $4 on it. Don't know what that means. What do you guys think? Okay. got looks like a necklace in here some of the end of my untangling video this I can already see has a little bit of wear to it looks like a multi chain with a long tassel yes I think that's it I think it goes like this it ties here and the tassels lovely and the chains are lovely, but it starts to wear 
right about towards the back of the neck. So go offer it. If someone loves it, you're welcome to it for $3. Otherwise, I will put it in craft. It's quite long. It measures 26 inches, and then you've got another 10 inches on your tassel. So that's kind of pretty. This is a brooch, I would say. Made in USA, the Nature Company. Shovel, watering can, and oh, it's about gardening. That's so sweet. It looks like some tarnish here. It is sterling silver, which is really nice. So the whole pin is sterling silver and all the charms. Wow, that's really cool. So I would say that weighs a good amount. So I'm gonna say 35 on that. The Nature Company, all solid sterling. Watering can, big sunflower, all about gardening. Okay, next is something that I had marked along the way. Serafina. This is a Serafina necklace. It's like it still had a little tangle in it. And I see a letter I. This is also marked Serafina. So I am guessing, Buster over here again, that it probably goes this way and toggles. Oh, that's pretty. It's in very, very good condition. So the letter I, and it toggles in the front, paperclip chain from Serafina. And there's the hang tag on the back. It is 16 inches, beautiful shape, and I'll say $5 on Serafina. Okay, next we have, still a little tangled in there, but it shouldn't be too bad, I hope. We have this faux watch. It's got a nice thick bubble front, but it's not a real watch. It's like an enamel and gold tone. It's very cute. And it's on a long gold tone chain. Let's see, where's the clasp? It's a Rolo type chain. Maybe it doesn't have one. Oh, there it is. It's a really tiny little um, spring ring clasp. I'm looking on it with the loop. I don't see any markings. But it's a long necklace. It is 32 inches. It's in good shape. Tiny, tiny bit of wear right here on the gold tone where it's been rubbing on there. Um, but it's still got a lot of life in it. And I would say $4 on that. Ooh, I'm excited about that sterling silver pendant. I didn't realize that was sterling, so that's fun. This is a very brushed gold tone necklace. The back of it, I'm not understanding that type of clasp at all. Do you guys? I mean... I would not know how to get that undone, but it's got a lot of wear towards the back anyway, so I think this is going to go to the craft jar. Really pretty um, pendants though, so that's too bad. Okay, the next one looks like a multi-layer herringbone chain maybe. Yes, it is. Let's see what kind of condition this is in. Yes, this has some wear, too. It's down to, like, the silver tone there. So, let's see if it's vermeil, at least, or vermeil. Sticking to the magnet where it should on the, on the spring clasp, but it's also right here. So I'd say it's not. And it has a lot of wear, so I'm going to put that in the craft jar as well. Next one, I think, is the same story. It's got some wear on it. It's a cute little chain. has a tassel 
black chain on the bottom and just a little too much wear for me. So another one in the craft jar. Next, ooh, we've got another very crystally something. Okay, what in the world? Oh my, okay. I don't, I don't think this is a necklace. It's a little bit broken anyway, but oh my gosh, look at this. What was going on at whoever donated this to Goodwill? Look at this. Can you tell what it is? Yeah, I think so. And it's broken right there. So this will make a good craft item. Look at it. It actually hooks in the back. And this goes around the top like a halter. I don't want to spend too much time on that, but that's going to go as a craft item because there's a ton of really beautiful rhinestones and it's got this whole rhinestone thing running down the side. So it's too big for the too big for the craft jar. So I will craft it for four dollars for whoever would like that with all those stones. That was unusual. Uh, this is a really pretty pendant with the lock. Rhinestones all over that, pave style. The chain is really fun too, but again, it's got some wear. And somebody put a safety pin with the clasp. So, oh, I don't know if that would polish up. Let me grab my polishing rag and see if it would help. No, it's not going to because it's brass underneath and I can see that. So that's a sad one. That's going to have to go in like one of my big craft bags where all the bulky stuff goes. Looks like we have a bracelet. Um, it looks a little bit maybe edgy. It's very bright silver tone. Um, yeah, it's just... A little on the edgy side has a big um, little lobster claw clasp. It measures seven and a quarter, and I don't know three dollars. <throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's very shiny. Excuse me. Oh, we have these sugar fix. I remember seeing these, and they look like presents. Pink, yellow, and some more pink at the bottom. So if you like Sugar Fix, I feel like my light's not doing so well. Then you're welcome to these for $4. Brand new on the card. Okay, this looks like a serious whistle. And this time the chain is in awesome condition. This is a really heavy chain. Wow. No clasp, so we can't tell who the maker is. That's a bummer. This is really super heavy. It does stick to the magnet slightly. And wow. Okay, I'm going to, a little bit, I'm going to blow the whistle so you know how loud it is. Yeah, that's so loud. I barely even blew on it. There is some, oh, rhinestones missing on the side. So that's a bummer. But in the front, you can't see them. If you're not worried about it and you want this as like a safety necklace or something, uh, it is quite beautiful with that chain. It's 32 inches on the chain, so heavy, heavy uh, whistle as well. I would say $6 on that because to me that does sound like it's useful. We have a necklace that has two clasps on it. So it looks like one of those that might have been attached to something. It's got some brushed gold tone in there. It's cute. It is 16 inches. If you like that to decorate something with, that's a dollar. This is a nice silver piece. Big paper clip chain might be one of those double hang pieces. I think so. Oh, this is cute. Really cute. 
So it goes like that. You've got one piece of chain and then your um, paper clip chain. That's pretty. I like that one a lot. Big Lobster Clasp, no maker. And it measures about 19 inches on that first chain. Beautiful condition. Very shiny, no wear. I'll say $5 on that pretty baby. Okay, what have we got here? This says something on it, maybe loft. Yes, it does. It says loft and there's a little gem on the tag. Older spring ring clasp, gold tone chain. And it comes down to a beautiful crystal pendant. I'd say that's like a smoky. We'll turn on Miss Prissy and see what she has to say about it. Hey, Miss Prissy, we haven't seen you for a while. And while we're waiting for her to wake up, let's look at this necklace. This looks like it has a name on it. The name B-R-Y-N-N. -N. Brian? Not sure. B-R-Y-N-N. -N. I think so. And it definitely looks old and it looks sterling. Oh yes, it's already marked right there. So this is an oldie. 925 J like Jack, A like Apple, D like David. That's what's on the circle part of the clasp. The clasp says 925 and let's see if it says anything on that other side. Um, no, it just has a texture on it. So this is an older piece. It would still probably be longer when I get that one more little knot out. But I don't know. I hope it doesn't have to go to silver scrap because no one has that name. But if someone does, this is 15 inches and I'll say $18 on the sterling. And we'll see about that. Where can I put it? Because it's so tiny. Okay. What have we got left in the bag? Oh, this is just so pretty. I can't figure out if this is glass or metal. I guess it is metal. It's a beautiful coppery, not copper, bronze, maybe antique gold tone color cuff bracelet. Very shiny, really good condition. And I don't know how to tell you what it measures because it covers it. Maybe seven and a quarter? Would you go right in the middle? So there's that one. Super pretty. If we don't sell it here, we'll put it with our color jewelry bags. But I'd say $5 on that. Okay, what else is in the bag? Oh, another tassel. Someone liked tassels. This also has a little bit of wear towards the back. That's a bummer. Oh, it's a Stella and Dot. So I must have seen in the untangling that it was a Stella and Dot. And so that I don't have to repeat myself twice on my research, I put the name on there. So maybe this is still worth offering because it does look like an older one. It's got some typical Stella and Dot square pieces there very thick type of a chain and then it starts to wear right about there so not sure what you think of that beautiful right down here and I'll just say three dollars on that then we've got some little pieces I better hang on to in case they go to something like maybe this wow this is pretty oh I forgot miss Percy, I forgot to test the stone. All right, so it looks like the loft necklace is glass, but I can see from here that there's all kinds of rainbow colors coming from it. So I'd say it's definitely a crystal, but it's in that smoky quartz color of that time. Older spring ring clasp. It measures 20 inches on full length. But then you've got these different stations. So I'd say probably 16, 18, 20. And on the loft, I would say $7 on that. 
Now onto this beautiful darling. Wow. So I can feel already that these are glass pearls. There's sparkly rhinestones all over it. Oh, it's beautiful. It has these three sections to it. I'm trying to see if there's anything missing. It almost looks like, oh, I see. In here, this is gold tone like little nubs. They're not actually stones right there, but these are actually crystals. And that's another gold tone nub sort of thing. And then those are prong set crystals. So you see what I mean? Let's hang it on the buster. Wow, it is so beautiful. And I think that's what it's supposed to do right there, have a little sort of wiggle on the end. And so that's another gold nub and then the crystals. Uh, maybe there's one missing here. That looks like a prong set. No, it's not. It's not missing. It has a yellow stone inside. So I'll inspect it. I'm not seeing anything missing. Maybe, yep, there is one missing here. Yes, that one is. But for the most part, they're, they're all there. It's stunning. Glass pearls. The chain is in great condition. If this is one of the um, pieces that, oh, it does look exactly like it. So that might be exactly what goes in there. So I will collect, you know me, I collect every piece from the bag and I will send it along or I'll try to stick it in there myself. If someone really loves this, let me know. It is probably, it's hard to measure, probably 20 inches. It's a beauty. So I'm gonna say, let's do $8 on it, just because that one stone has to be replaced. And yeah, let me know what you think. It's actually in one, two, three, four, five sections, not three, so sorry about that. Okay, put this over here. Ooh, I like this. I have one that I wear like this, and it has a beautiful, like, I don't know, black stone there. I love it. It's very comfortable. This doesn't have anything on it. We could have fun putting all kinds of pendants on this. It's in perfect condition. I don't see a thing wrong with it. It looks absolutely brand new. It's not sticking to the magnet except for where it should at the clasp. But I don't see any marks right away. It doesn't look like something that would be solid gold, but certainly gold plated. So I'm going to bet there's probably brass under the gold plating, but it's a beauty. It's not nice. I'm not sure what you call that chain. Do I have it going the right way? Almost looks like little honeycombs. Oh, it's really in great shape. Okay, let's get a measurement. 16 inches, a little bit longer than 16. Nice weight to it. I'm gonna say 20 on this. It's a beautiful piece. Really, really good condition. Okay, last in the bag, but not last at all, because I have other things in other bags is a Christmas brooch, and we know that's just right around the corner. So that's really pretty, red enamel, green enamel that looks like stones. Let me see if that's a stone. Oh, it's all enamel, and it's really pretty. Yes, so we've got a Christmas brooch with bells, and I'll say $4 on that. Now, let's see, I will put this bag aside so that I can gather up the little bit of goodies, but we did pretty good, not many broken pieces. Save up those, and then I think we got this out in the untangling, so I'll show you this next. And this, I'm dying to do a colored jewelry bag with this, but I'm gonna offer the things for sale first, and what doesn't sell, then we'll do the color bags. 
but it's so pretty. I was so tempted. This looks like one of those multi-chain. So see the different um, lobster clasp here and lobster clasp here. So it looks like you can take off one of these purple AB crystal chains and the other purple AB crystal chain. So those are the two removables from what I can tell. And then you've got these three types of chains, one on either side. Really pretty, isn't it? So it looks like one of those many different styles necklaces. And here's what it looks like at the bottom. Just gorgeous purple glass faceted beads. These look really very much like the color of amethyst on the smaller ones. And then the faceted milky ABs. Nice long necklace. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Excellent shape, I'm glad to say. So that's 30. Oh gosh, 40. 40 inches minus 4. 36? 36, 36 inches. Does that sound right? It's 18 and 18 is 36. And that's that. Great condition. And I'm going to say, since it's so versatile, I'll do 17 on that. So pretty. Oh, that, that one is tempting me right now. Next, things are in different bags because I had to wash some things. And yeah, a lot of this needed to be looked over. So some of it just needed a bath. This is a very pretty uh, silver tone. Napier. Oh, I love this. Napier necklace. It has these very textured beads and then very shiny. So like a dot dash, but with different, you know, shiny than textured. Oh, that's so pretty. That's the Napier. Love those clasp ends. Let's measure this one. I'm sure it's going to be choker. 16 inches, and then you've got another inch here. Lovely, lovely. Um, gosh, it's so pretty. I'll say 14 on the Napier silver tone necklace. And next we have just a very lovely big silver tone wide link chain with a lobster clasp. That's a fun one too. We could do a lot with that. Put different pendants on it. That'd be fun. That's what it looks like on the neck. A good staple piece for someone that's building a jewelry um, repertoire, I guess. It is 22 inches. Nice weight to it. Great condition. And I'll say $8 on that. This is a memory wire bracelet. Looks like howlite and faux pearls with some of those round beads. And it's in pretty good condition. It does have some um, coloring along the beads here because it's rubbing against these silver tone beads. I did clean off what I could, but it's just gonna get that silver color on there again. So unless you're looking in between the beads, it's not an issue, but it's pretty. I don't think we need to measure it since it can be any size you want. And I'd say $6 on that. So. This is fun, really, really fun. I wouldn't mind wearing that myself. That is so pretty. It has two or one, one big giant spring ring clasp. That's wild. Gold tone. Not shiny, but not not brushed either. And this is really a choker. Look at that. I guess I would have to fix these links so that you can see it the right way. Yeah. There we go. I think if I undo this, then I can get this straight because it wasn't straight. Let's see if that helped. 
Yes, it did. So there's your choker. Mega, mega, chunky, chunky chain. I wonder what that big spring ring is. I mean, what age it is. It is a 14 inch definite choker chain. Great weight to it. I love it. I love it. It's a statement piece for sure. I'd say $9 on that. I need some room because I've got a ton more stuff to show you. I don't think we're going to get through with this box on this video. This is, looks like another vintage necklace. Oh, look at that. Nice shiny silver tone with some textured pieces. Looks very like jet moving movement stuff. Let's see what the name is. Maybe Coral? No, it's a Trafari. So we have a lovely Trafari silver choker necklace again. Really good condition. It's got the old hook. It's signed right there. And that little ball, that's precious. It is fully extended would be 16 inches. So there's your Trafari piece. And I would say 16 on that. Silver Trafari. That's nice to get one with a name. And then we have this stainless steel marked right there. Uh, bracelet that is a big chain. And I cleaned this up too. So let's see which way does it go. You probably have to give it a little bit of oiling because it's probably been sitting. So it needs a little bit of oil on the chain. Almost like a real chain, right? But let's see where it measures when I got it all clasped. It is. Once it's flattened out the right way, I'd say seven and three quarters because it's a little bit stiff. So that's cool. Stainless steel jewelry. Big wide chain. Say seven on that. Now, this whole bag says they all need to be tested because they don't stick to the magnet. But I think some of them will not need to be tested. Like, you know, these, I don't think. They may be the Indian wedding jewelry. A couple of bracelets with green and red and rhinestones. And these measure seven and three quarters on the two bangles. I would say four dollars on those. They may be 22 karat plated. I don't know, but that's those. And we have this one. I think we all saw this in the untangling and I cleaned it up and I have it wrapped as if it's a bracelet, but as you all know, it could be a necklace or whatever you want it to be. I don't know what to make of this. Is this something desirable? I don't even know what to price it as. It is in nice condition. And I probably have it wrapped up a little bit small, but that's that piece. I'll say $4 on it. And can you tell me in the comments what you'd call this and what era this is from? Because I don't think I've seen a lot of that type of jewelry. Then we have this pretty bangle with some rhinestones in it. I don't see a maker mark on it. I probably shouldn't rush the ones that say that they need to be tested, except this one is copper with a knot in it. Oh, another one too. They might even like stack together. So we don't have to test copper. They measure about seven inches. So for the two copper bracelets, I'll say $5. This looks like an Alex and Ani, but it looks like a nice one, like a higher quality or something. It says Madison University, 1908. So I'm not sure what to do with that. I don't know who that would mean something to. That's the trouble with the Alex and Ani. They're, they're very personal. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
So we have those two gold tone Alex and Arnie's. Maybe even another one, a third one. Yes. So I don't know, three Alex and Annie's for three dollars or a dollar a piece for whichever one you like. Just let me know what one you like. There's like a clover on one, this on the next, and then something about a university on that one. This is cute, a silver tone, almost like an um, equestrian style. And it has like a little angel on it. It's very lightweight, very shiny, seven and a quarter. And I'd say a dollar on that cutie cutie. This, I don't know, it's a clamper bracelet. It looks darker right here like as if to be silver tone. It has some crystals in it, and then this part is really shiny. It's quite different looking. I don't see a name. I don't see anything missing. So I'll say $3 on that clamper. Oh, you need to know it's seven inches. Then we have this little guy with an anchor. It's like a, yeah, these are the things like I shouldn't rush because if it's sterling, I wanna check that. This has a letter C, it might be for May. This is most certainly sterling, these other Alex and Annie's, so we'll check that. This is like a Yerman style. It's a lot like the other one we just saw, only this is not a clamper. It is a cuff bracelet. I do see copper underneath, so it's not the greatest. Pretty rhinestones on the end. I think I'll just put that one to craft. And this one too, this is really lovely. It does say made in China on a sticker inside, but I still wanna check it. it looks. Looks kind of sterling. It probably isn't, but I'll check it. That's cute. A pretty little silver tone ring. As far as I can tell, silver tone. It says CW. Wait a minute. It looks like a CW inside. I don't see a 925. I would need to get my ring sizer, so. We'll have to get that in a minute. Ooh, then we have this purple ring. Um, wow. It's got gold prongs. It has like a white gold color on the rest of it. Really gorgeous. Let's see what the stone is. It's definitely testing something. Not quite going to amethyst, but it does go to like tourmaline. So purple tourmaline, and those have to be CZs. They're so shiny. Yeah, that's a beautiful, shiny, looks never worn ring. And there is a mark in there. Let me see what that says. It says PL, just PL. Well, that doesn't help us. We have purple tourmaline, really nice CZs, gorgeous ring, and it says PL. So we'll have to put that in the test pile. So pretty. Let's move Buster. We have this big costume ring, enamel, flower, gold tone, gray condition. I'll have to get my ring sizer for that. It's not too far away. Oh, isn't that pretty? A yellow ring. It's probably glass. Not seeing any marks. But again, these are all the things that did not stick to a magnet. So I put them aside to see if they might test. So we might have to test that one. This is a torque be tested. This I looked up. I did look this up. 
it says, I have to look at it again. Oh, Mosier. It's Mosier glass. Now, I remember Mosier glass when I did vintage china and collectibles. And if you found Mosier glass, you found something beautiful. And they did make necklaces for a while. So this is an actual Mosier glass necklace. And I saw someone has them on eBay for, I think, $49 a piece, different colors. Um, I'll, I'll put the uh, Miss Prissy on it just to show that it's glass and show you what it looks like on the neck. It's a beautiful glass. If you know anything about Mosher, it's beautiful. Gold tone on the, um, why can't I think of what this is called? Torque. Torque necklace. And let's see, I, I don't know how to measure that at all, but I'm gonna say 20. Let's do it for 20 because that's less than half of what is on the internet. Since I have to test these other ones, let me give you a peek of what's in there. There's another ring with a big stone, but I can see copper coming through on this. That test as a CZ has like a pink color to it. It's just a tiny bit of copper coming through right there. We'll do a ring size on it. Don't think it says anything. And let's just dump all these out. So Alex and Ani will test. This is pretty, isn't it? It's got some ceramic glass beads that just kind of roll around. Might be gold over sterling, we'll check. This just says size nine, so I would guess it's not precious metal, but it's a beautiful ring. All those prong set CZs around a pink heart. Let me see if it's prong set. Yes, they are. Pink heart in the middle. Ooh, that's a lovely piece. It's like right off the shelf, new. Size nine, so we don't have to size it. I would say $8 on that really pretty good condition these you're gonna have to help with I don't know what these are they're little magnetic clips with like a yellow maybe acrylic in there there's two of them magnet doesn't work on this one but it might yeah the magnets off of there I guess I'll put them in craft I just don't know what they are so I thought maybe you guys could tell me what they are, but those went in the craft jar. We have a really gold, gold tone ring. And I'll test it for funsies. And this is like a one thing. Maybe this is, I think this is a 120th 12 karat gold thing. It is, this is a gold filled tiny something. I mean, I would think if it was to be put around a wine glass or something, you wouldn't bother to have 1 20th 12 karat gold filled, but it is. And it has a, a genuine stone on it. So tiny, maybe it's a child's bracelet. If it is, it's like a five and a half. It's possible, but it's gold filled. It's lovely. And I might as well just offer it for $10 gold filled. Okay. This is certainly copper, and I think it's meant to be copper, possibly. It's a ring with, looks like a quartz on it. And it is, it's a rose quartz. Might even, does that have a crack in it, or is that supposed to be that way? So, it's pretty. I still think it's a really nice wearable very pretty ring if you like copper. It's a little on the small side, we'll measure that. And then we have some kind of a coin necklace, north and south, paper clip chain, not sticking to the magnet. Hmm. Don't know, I would say probably not. 
So we have that, and it is 18 inches. If you like paperclip chain with a nautical maybe, I'd say $3 on that. And these things all are gonna be tested. For some reason, we have a spring ring in the bag. Let's see if that's marked. No, but it's in there because it didn't stick. So these are all to be tested. We'll do that all at once together. Might even not get to do that on this video, I apologize. But at least we got some of the things out of the bag. Like these rings. We know we can do these. So back with the ring sizer. And just want to take a minute to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, hit the bell, so that you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And for those that are just joining me, if you see something you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with the video name and episode number, the timestamps, brief description of the jewelry you like, and the prices. Thanks so much for that. Okay, we have a couple of rings. This is a lovely vintage piece. Big statement ring. And it is a size six. That's so pretty. I'm gonna say $12 on that. This is our copper and rose quartz. Looks pretty good. And that is also a size six. And I'll say $5 on that. I love that roundness to it. That's really pretty. And this is our big, giant, purpley cubic zirconia or some kind of man-made stone. And it is also a size 6. I'll say $3 on that. I think it's worth the stone for that. And our really lovely silver. Looks never worn. Has like the CW in it. I can't remember, was I gonna test this? I don't know, but this is a size nine. So that's different. That's a pretty ring for sure. And I'm just gonna say 12 on it. It's really in good shape. And yeah, it's just a nice ring. So we got that done, we've got that to go. I'm, I think I'm just gonna do the earrings next. I mean, all at once. And then I wanna show you, I have this bowl of earrings that I started to mark and to test. But I've got some more to go. And I know that some of you saw some in here that you like, so I'll get to them the best I can. Oh, oh, Frida. Are these the earrings you liked, Frida? Are these the purple earrings? Because there is two of them. Oh my goodness. I hope these are your earrings, Frida. Okay, well, since we've already got the cat out of the bag here, let's see if they say anything on them. Because I think I took these in my room that night and looked really hard over everything. And I just didn't get through all of them. These are really neat. They have like that well that the stone goes in, which is really different. Let's see what they test as. They are glass and they're almost a Rivoli. See how it's like that way, but not quite pointy. Wow, lever back purple earrings. I bet you these are the ones Frida has been hoping that I find the second one too. Frida, I'm so sorry. I had no idea that I had the other one to it, if these are the ones. So I'm going to go ahead and test them right now just to see what they are. But Frida is just so sweet. She's been a subscriber for a long time. She's one of the best commenters. And she fell in love with these and they are sterling frida they're so beautiful sterling silver so i will email you about those i know you loved them you're going to be so excited and so am i sterling silver lever backs oh so pretty 
I wish I had like 20 pairs because I know other people are going to love those too. All right, since we've got the testing solution out, is there anything else that we have a doubt about? I don't really doubt the vintage sterling jewelry. I really don't. Um, but for those that like to see it tested, we can do that. See if I can get a couple of a pair. Now, there is someone interested in these. And look how they hang. These are, and you can see the, the way that it's on that loop. It's so different. And these go for a lot. They go for a good, they start at like $50, $60 online. It is marked 925. And they are really special with the bead ball. So I think Rosemary liked these. Um, I did tell her they started around 45, so we'll see what you guys say. They just are very old and really special sterling earrings. Okay, let me get my little notes out of the way. Let's go to these. Sterling earrings, these squiggly guys and see if they are sterling. I kind of look at, but the wires don't look it unless they have like that rhodium plating. Oh, I don't like that sound. That sounds like, ah, yikes. But we have to know, I know for me, I have to know if something's sterling. So let's put that one there. And these, oh, I can't even doubt that these are Let's find the other one to this. So you see, I wasn't going to do this because it's not very organized, but then I got excited seeing that purple earring. These look artisan made. Certainly have a lovely patina. And I think I see a 925 mark already, but let's see. So we'll test these. Oh yeah, I would not doubt that. By the way, they are testing on the stone. So we've got those earrings there. And we'll do one more pair. Let's see. That's a cute little purple one. Um, maybe these sterling hoops, I guess. Oh boy, that's kind of stuck on there. All right, there it goes. These need a little polishing. They're pretty. Very, they look very, no, they're not sterling because I think I'm seeing like a copper. Yes, these are sterling plated. So we have a pair of sterling plated hoops and we will do these for four dollars sterling plated hoops and just because i wanted to put one more out there these are already marked 925 and su and then i have the word repair on them so it must be something with the oh yeah this doesn't clip back these might have to go to scrap okay Trying to find that third pair. Cute little flower. Mm, maybe I'm trying too hard here. Little, yeah. We'll just wait on that. And then we've got the whole earring board, so there's a lot to do. Um, yes, and then got this whole bag of earrings that I did take the time to look at. I'll show you all those. And then another whole bag of stuff to test, either the stones or the metal. So there's a lot to do in an unboxing that is kind of behind the scenes. You don't always get to see it. These are the ones I'm hoping are sterling because they're so thick and heavy and they're beautiful. Let's see if these cloud-looking earrings are sterling. I want to get that other mark off that had the...
copper on it so we don't get the wrong reading and I'm not going to test where I had tested that anyway so all right come on let's all hope and pray this is sterling they are beautiful even if they're plated they're still beautiful but they are not appearing to be plated wow so heavy take this off test the wire so that is quite a statement earring I'm really hoping on that one so we have the little artisan squiggles and the other artisan looking squiggle too these really thick ones and they oh wow sterling all sterling and these I'm not sure I, I wasn't really liking the way they were testing anyway but let's give it one more little try they just might be silver tone yes these are silver tone they look sterling though don't they so silver tone I will say four dollars on these pierced earrings but these are sterling silver for sure artisan made the hook and the earring I'll say 12 on these I'm gonna put them up here so I remember they're sterling and these oh my gosh I'm gonna to have to get those on the scale they are so heavy I'm gonna say they, they're gonna to have to be expensive because there was a lot of sterling here so mm. What is this design? Do you guys have any idea what to call that? That's all sterling. What a beautiful find. I'm really excited about that. I don't know what to price it as because I don't want to like short myself, but I don't want to overprice it either. I'm thinking like for that much sterling, like $80. But let me see what you think about $80 on those and I will put them on the scale so that you know how much they weigh. And I am going to say, I'm going to put a price of 55 on these that are really old and different with that swirly design and the way they hang like that. So I'll say 50 on these and we will see. We'll give Rosemary the first right of refusal. So much to show you guys and so much to test together. So let's wipe this off for now and wow I'm not even going to do a, a craft jar today because I'm gonna have to go but I'm so glad that I got to do some more unboxing it was kind of sitting here and we needed to get back to it okay um, I'm gonna do a couple more necklaces bracelets just to have a few more shiny things for you all oh my goodness is this beautiful and it's marked boy that would have gone great with our silver pearl bag you know what I don't know that the silver pearl bag sold I might have to put this with it next week it is a Monet oh look how beautiful that is all embedded rhinestones that are darker color can't even tell you what color those are and these silver pearls oh, oh it's so pretty oh I forgot to show you the Coro bracelet I've been wearing it all day I need to show that to you so excited to wear that today I took off my sterling bracelets which I haven't done for a long time because I've been dying to wear that Coro so back to the Monet the stunning Monet it is seven inches oh my gosh this is so beautiful I'm gonna say oh wow great condition 16 on the Monet bracelet it's just so pretty and I'm not sure why this isn't in our testing bag let's see what else this looks like a pearl necklace.
so they feel like glass pearls gold tone chain that's a cutie and that is 18 inches it's in great condition lovely bright gold tone and I'd say $7 on the glass pearl and gold tone necklace. So we've got another one on its way. And this is a lovely piece. I think this is a double, triple hang necklace. It's got all kinds of texture. It's beautiful. Silver tone, textured rings. Then it goes off into three chains oval loops on that one then into like a big uh, rollo paper clip and then hanging down like this at the end it's very feminine and pretty I think it goes like this I know I don't have a long enough neck right now but this is what it looks like on the bottom so pretty right let me put it straight I love that texture and yes it's a nice long chain first one goes to 28 inches just on the first one here and then that's probably 30 and that's probably like a 30 something that's a 40 inches so lovely necklace for sure lobster clasp and I'm going to say 15 on this. It's a beautiful piece. Okay, there's so many beautiful things to show you. Let me give you a little peek of what's in this bag. It looks like some turquoise, some stones to test. Look at those beautiful little whatever they are is in there. So we have a lot of work to do from this bag for sure. More sterling back there. Wow. Lots of work. Lots more pieces. Lots of them I had to clean. So we'll go through all that. But for now, we did what we could do. I did price all of these, and I'm going to mark these sterling. Then I'll work on my thumbnail. I'm sorry we didn't get to a craft jar today. I do have two craft jars already pre made. You won't see them on the video, but they're $20 if you'd like one. Um, I'd be happy to send it to you, so just tell me that you'd like one of the craft jars that really wasn't shown. Um, but I did make a bunch up when I got those blue boxes, so I think you've seen very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and mark 925 on these with the little check mark. To me, that means they are 925 and I checked them. And then put my little tags on them somehow so that we don't forget. And then I'll go to work on my thumbnail. I hope to see you in the comments. You know how much I love to hear from you there. And I'll keep staying busy and you keep watching. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. I didn't go away. I'm back again. I forgot to show you the coral bracelet. I'm so sorry. So this is it. Gold tone. Look at the beautiful leaf, textured leaf design. It's so stunning. It has like watermelon color crystals. I would even venture to say they're probably Swarovski. They're absolutely stunning. And the gold on it is just, I don't know, it's such a beautiful color. So I got this in a box that I didn't unbox with all of you. There it says coral right there. And I was going to list it on eBay, but I wore it today. I unboxed it probably a month or so ago. It's so stunning. Um, I'm going to measure it. I don't know if I want to let it go, but I kind of need to. So I'm going to do like Rachel does. She prices things up that she loves. Not more than she should, but oh, it's a 7. I usually like my bracelets bigger, but this was nice. Size 7. Beautiful coral. I'm going to say 45. 
and see what happens, okay? So I wanted to show you that. And here's, just, since we're back again anyway, here's the couple of um, craft jars that I had made up that I didn't do on camera. The same size jars I usually have. So since we didn't do one on camera today, if you want one of those, they're 20. And a lot of the stuff is from the, um, from that disastrous um, Goodwill blue box that I just got that one time. And then what I have all the time I thought I'd show you are these all wearable jewelry jars. I sell these on eBay. They're full of all good wearable jewelry. These are bigger jars. They're much bigger and wider than my craft jars just so you get an idea. And they look very sparkly and like glass, but they're plastic, but they're strong. So I have these all wearable all the time. It looks almost like a Black Hills Gold in there, right? Try to put pretty nice pieces in there. I think these are on eBay for 39, so I would do them for 37 on YouTube, okay? 37 for the all wearable jars. There's a lot of jewelry in there. And then I have wearable and craft. So this craft and wearable pieces in here, same big jar. And what do I have these on for? Um, we'll say 33 on these. So that's the price of that. Looks like there's a, a black faceted glass in there before I knew how special that was. So I've got those craft and wear jars, 33 or whatever I said and then the all wearable. Lots of these all the time. So you can ask me for those at any time. And I did such a silly thing. I put all the jewelry away before I did my thumbnail. So now I'm just gonna take this opportunity to show you why. So this is why I need you to send me the episode number, the episode and the episode number. So it's 23 pounds episode five, and I've got everything packed away in special little bags. The earrings are in one section, necklaces are in another. So when you email me and say, oh, I want something from 23 pounds episode five, I can go right to this bag, and this is where everything is from this episode. So that's why, I always wanted to show that to you, to show you why I needed the episode number. So now, I'm gonna have to take lots of things out of this bag and make my thumbnail because I forgot to make it. So I'm gonna really go this time. So thanks again for letting me pop back in. Hope you had a great time and wish me luck making my thumbnail at the baubles. Bye guys.